China is on a roll, and it's nothing short of spectacular. Earlier this year, Beijing hosted the National Engineer Awards, where 81 talented individuals and 50 brilliant teams took home the gold for their game-changing contributions to engineering technology. In this video, we're unveiling the top 10 recent mind-blowing feats that prove Chinese engineers are not just breaking records, but setting the bar higher than ever before. These astonishing accomplishments will leave you in awe and wondering, what will China think of next? Number 10. A Future Science City Beijing's northern Changping district is abuzz with the start of an exciting new project, which is the construction of the first two robotics industrial parks. Announced at the 2023 World Robot Conference, this initiative promises to put Changping on the map as a hub for futuristic innovation. It was nicknamed the Future Science City because it's a facility that is not just the average tech park. See it as a place where robots will be able to build robots, supported by the state-of-the-art public service platforms and a thriving community of robotics innovation enterprises. The numbers are impressive. With two sites under construction, the Robotics Industrial Park will cover a whopping 602,779 square feet. That's almost as big as 10 football fields combined. And with the first half of 2026 set as the completion date, we don't have to wait too long to see this robotic dream come to life. But it's not just the robots that are getting an upgrade. Changping is also tapping into its local brain power. With 41 colleges and universities in the district, there's no shortage of bright minds to fuel the advancements in robotics. So keep an eye on Changping, where the future is being built today by robots, for robots, and with a little help from some very smart humans. Number 9. Huajiang Grand Canyon Bridge, the world's highest suspension bridge. A marvel of modern engineering is set to rise in Guizhou, the Huangjiang Grand Canyon Bridge, a suspension bridge spanning the majestic Huajiang River Canyon. Slated to open in 2025, this bridge is poised to shatter records and elevate China's infrastructure prowess to new heights. This colossal structure will be the world's highest suspension bridge towering a breathtaking 625 meters above the river below. Stretching an impressive 2,980 meters in total length, with a main span of 1,420 meters, the Huangjiang Grand Canyon Bridge is not just an engineering feat, it's a testament to human ingenuity. According to Han Hongju, who spoke with China Media Group, the bridge's main structure is on track for completion by the end of 2024. By early 2025, this incredible bridge will be fully operational, dramatically reducing travel time across the canyon from a tedious 70 minutes to an astonishing one minute. This will not only change transportation in the area, but also spur tourism and rural revitalization, breathing new life into the region. Number 8. The Shang Tunnel China Railway No. 2 Group has achieved a monumental feat with the completion of the Deshang Tunnel, hailed as China's longest single-bore, double-track railway tunnel. This engineering marvel stretches an impressive 23 kilometers and took a decade to construct, sitting at a lofty altitude of 3,000 meters above sea level. Part of the chengdu Huangshengguang section of the sichuan Qinghai Railway, the Desheng Tunnel is a testament to modern engineering prowess. Designed with the expertise of China Railway Erhuan Engineering Group, the tunnel reaches a maximum buried depth of 750 meters. It traverses an active fault zone, passing through seven parasitic folds and one fault, presenting significant geological challenges. Throughout its construction, the team overcame earthquakes, landslides, and debris flows, showcasing extraordinary resilience and technical skill. The Chengdu Huang Shengguan section spans 276 kilometers, forming a crucial segment of the 836 kilometer long Sichuan Qinghai Railway, one of the eight high speed lines connecting northern and southern China. Upon its opening later this year, passenger trains will zip through the Desheng Tunnel at speeds up to 200 kilometers per hour, while freight trains will travel up to 120 kilometers per hour. The completion of the Deshang Tunnel marks a significant milestone in China's railway construction, promising to enhance connectivity and efficiency in the region. Number 7. Jiangji River Bridge The bridge across the Jiangji River in Guizhou 
built by an award-winning team, has significantly improved local transportation while also delivering ecological and economic benefits. Speaking to China Media Group, Zhang Sheng Ling recounted the difficulties faced by people living on both sides of the river. Before the bridge, traveling between villages took an entire day, involving walking, carriage rides, and boats. With the completion of the Zhangji River Bridge, life became much easier. Zhang expressed pride in this accomplishment, saying, Seeing how the bridge has helped people motivates me to continue my work on other projects. The Zhangji River Bridge not only facilitates transportation, but also harmonizes with the natural environment. The project employed eco-friendly materials and aimed to minimize ecological disruption, showcasing a responsible approach to infrastructure development. Mu Jinwei, another team member, explained to CMG that materials they used for construction were all recycled earth and stone waste from roadbed construction. They also conducted detailed analysis and numerous experiments to ensure significant economic benefits. Mu, who is also the deputy general manager and chief engineer at Guizhou Communications Construction Group, further noted the use of breakthroughs in machine-made sand concrete technology. They have used over 100 million cubic meters of material for bridge construction, saving more than $3.19 billion and reducing carbon emissions by over 3.3 million tons. Number 6. Gudari Tunnel China Railway Tunnel Group has set a new record in tunnel boring machine, TBM, tunneling during the construction of a major new highway in Georgia. The company reported achieving a maximum monthly advance of 426 meters on the Gudari Tunnel, part of Georgia's North-South KK Highway. This achievement surpasses the previous industry record of 320 meters per month for large diameter TBM tunnel construction, the company claimed. The project utilized the Caucasus TBM, a behemoth measuring 182 meters in length and weighing 3,900 tons. With a maximum thrust of 22,600 tons and a total power of 9,900 kilowatts, the TBM boasts an excavation diameter of 15.08 meters, making it one of the largest of its kind. The KK Highway, a two-way dual carriageway, spans 22.7 kilometers with the 10-kilometer Lot 1 section including the 8,860-meter-long Gudari Tunnel, being constructed by China Railway Tunnel Group. The company announced that it had completed the tunnel ahead of schedule. Once operational, the new highway is expected to significantly reduce travel time along this stretch, cutting it from one hour to just 20 minutes. This project not only marks a significant engineering milestone, but also promises to enhance connectivity and efficiency in the region demonstrating the capabilities of modern tunneling technology. Number 5. Jintang Undersea Tunnel Scheduled for completion in 2028, the Jintang Undersea Tunnel will link Zhushan to the mainland's high-speed rail system. Situated 78 meters below the East China Sea at its lowest point, the tunnel will feature an 11.2-kilometer shielded section enabling trains to travel at speeds up to 250 km per hour. The civil engineering is notably complex due to challenging geological conditions, the need to operate under pressure, and the tunnel's significant length, nearly 10 km longer than the Hong Kong to Macau link. Engineer Hu Huao told China Daily that construction complexity, difficulty, and risks involved in this process are rarely seen in the world. He also noted that the TBMs had been specially modified to handle the transitions between soft and hard strata. One of these TBMs, the Yangzhou, unveiled in Changsha, Hunan Province in February, is a formidable machine. Built by the 14th Bureau and China Railway Construction Heavy Industry Group, it measures 135 meters and weighs 4,350 tons, equipped with 308 custom-designed cutters. It will handle the Ningbo end of the project. Once complete, the tunnel will be the world's third longest undersea railway tunnel, following Japan's Seikan Tunnel and the Channel Tunnel between the UK and France, but will support faster travel at 250 km per hour. The tunnel will cut travel time from Ningbo to Zhushan to 30 minutes, down from 1.5 hours by car over the Ningbo Sea Bridge, and will enable travel from Hangzhou to Zhushan in 80 minutes. Number 4. 
Hanku Tunnel, world's longest spiral road tunnel. The Guinness World Records has officially certified the Hanku Tunnel on the Xinxiang Jingchang Expressway, which stretches 4,457 meters, as the longest spiral road tunnel section globally. The Xinxiang Jingchang Expressway, spanning 69.8 kilometers, connects the provinces of Henan and Shaanxi through the Taihang Mountains. Its spiral tunnel system includes nine tunnels that wind through the mountains, with a combined length of 28 kilometers. The Hanku Tunnel itself ranges in altitude from 784 meters to 893 meters, featuring a maximum elevation difference of 109 meters between the entrance and exit, and a minimum radius of 70 meters. For this complex project, Chinese giant China State Construction utilized building information modeling and identification codes for materials at the construction site to minimize losses. The company also deployed Internet of Things IoT, sensors to gather real-time data on ground settlement, arch subsidence, and other critical measurements. The Expressway, which opened in 2022, showcases these advanced engineering and construction techniques, providing a vital link between the regions it connects. Number 3. Wumengshan Grand Bridge the Wumengshan Grand Bridge, an impressive arch spanning a deep canyon, exemplifies engineering innovation. It features the world's first fully prefabricated hoisting technique in a mountainous region, overcoming terrain challenges and minimizing environmental impact. On January 11th, the main arch of the Wumengshan Grand Bridge on the Nanyang Qinglong Expressway was completed. Zhangshen Lin, a member of the award-winning engineering team, told China Media Group that the team did not use a large bridge erecting machine. Instead, they adopted a hoisting system to install all of the components, which has improved efficiency. Zhang, also the chief engineer of a highway group affiliated with Guangzhou Communications Construction Group, detailed the efficiency gains from this method. In the past, daunting conditions required transporting materials by hand and horseback. Han Hongzhu, leader of the engineering team, recalled that when they built the Beipangjiang Bridge on the Guangxing Highway, there was no road to the planned location. All materials were transported by humans or horses. It was more than 10 kilometers from their base to the bridge site, taking about four hours each way. But constructing Wumengshan Grand Bridge has been a bliss in terms of logistics. Number 2. New Liquefied Natural Gas Carrier a new liquefied natural gas carrier, domestically developed and constructed by Dalian Shipbuilding Company Limited, embarked on its inaugural journey from Dalian. This massive vessel, measuring 295 meters in length, 46.4 meters in width, and 26.2 meters in depth, boasts a substantial payload capacity of 175,000 cubic meters. Engineered with precision, it maintains a draft of 11.5 meters and cruises at a speed of 19.5 knots. Equipped for global operations, the liquefied natural gas carrier can dock at major terminals worldwide with seamless ship-to-shore integration. Notably, it boasts a minimal daily boil-off rate of just 0.085%, ensuring safety, stability, and minimal liquefied natural gas loss during transit. Scheduled for delivery in August 2025, the liquefied natural gas carrier will undergo meticulous commissioning for underwater mooring and cargo containment system construction before embarking on its maiden voyage. China's shipbuilding prowess has grown in recent years, propelled by collaboration among domestic shipyards, engineering firms, and research institutions. Leveraging advanced manufacturing techniques and cutting-edge design capabilities, Chinese shipyards have delivered complex vessels tailored to diverse industries' needs. This progress is exemplified by the surge in specialized vessel development, including liquefied natural gas carriers, container ships, and offshore drilling rigs, attracting international clients seeking high-quality vessels at competitive prices. Also, in a significant development, Qatar has just placed an order for 18 of the world's largest liquefied natural gas carriers from the China State Shipbuilding Corporation, valued at nearly $6 billion. Number 1. Revolutionary Boring and Blasting Machine 
Chinese scientists have developed the world's first boring and blasting machine designed to significantly enhance the efficiency of excavating extremely hard rocks. This innovative machine has been made to address challenges in large tunnel constructions, benefiting water conservancy, mining, railway, and highway projects. Combining the power of modern tunnel boring machines with multiple advanced technologies, this boring and blasting machine is expected to perform effectively in complex geological environments. It features two cutter heads that leverage the complementary advantages of drilling and blasting, improving efficiency and being environmentally friendly. According to the South China Morning Post, trials under three different working conditions demonstrated that under extremely hard rock conditions, the efficiency of the hollow cutter head can be increased by 30% after pre-cracking treatment. Chen Jia Lei, a researcher at China Railway Science and Industry Group Corporation, said it effectively combines the functions of tunnel boring machines and traditional drilling and blasting methods, featuring multiple excavation modes. Traditional TBMs often jam or slow down in complex geological conditions whereas the BBM is designed to overcome these issues, particularly in rock bursts or significant deformations in soft rock. The BBM can operate in large fault fracture zones and handle sudden mud or water inflows. Its ring cutter head and dual mode operation make it versatile and robust, capable of excavating in extreme geological conditions and enhancing construction efficiency. What do you think about China's growing engineering power? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Make sure to like the video and don't forget to subscribe to stay tuned for more.